I'm just now, after six months, starting to organize it and getting rid of the boxes and stuff that have been piled up here. I've had a couple of people talk to me just recently asking me to show how to adjust rear brakes. And I've got my brake video, I can't remember which one it is, um, which, which helps you understand where the springs go, how to put the clip on the back of an M MGB uh, rear brake. But how do you adjust it? Well, again, this is the MGB rear brake. This is the left rear. Remember that the pictures in the workshop manual are wrong. Go figure. So what we have here, we've got, um, we've got our lever here on the back side, right? This is our handbrake lever here. And this, this separates the shoes. It doesn't look like it does a lot, but you can see that when you press it out, it forces the shoes outwards. And because the whole thing slides back and forth, it's self-centering. So you've got this spring here that holds the, the uh, handbrake lever together. And then you've got this other spring underneath here, which holds, the, uh, which holds the shoes together at the bottom. And the spring here, which holds the shoes together at the top. Now the adjuster's done up here. We're going to come in real close here. Here I've got a, um, a quarter inch socket. This is an air conditioning tool. And I'm going to back this off and you'll see it turns, if I can hold this thing firm enough, it turns quarter turn by quarter turn. And I'm going to turn it fast. You can see that those cylinders on the inside, now they're almost touching there. Now the shoes are all the way together all the way off. So as we turn this guy clockwise on the back and it turns quarter turn by quarter turn as the flats push out on the inside here quarter 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 eventually we get to a spot where the shoes have pressed out against against the drum and you can no longer turn this. Well don't break it off I mean you can get it really tight, but don't get it that tight. Get it, get it hand tight. Once it stops moving, then reverse the position of whatever lock you've got on your tool and back it off quarter turn by quarter turn until the drum just runs free. Now, theoretically, if you read the workshop manual and so forth, uh, the distance between being fully locked and fully free is one quarter of one turn but in practicality it's usually two or three quarter turns. Make sure that the handbrake is not pulling on the shoes at the same time that you're trying to adjust this. Best thing, disconnect it. Disconnect it completely, then adjust the rear brakes, then reconnect the handbrake and readjust the handbrake. After that, you can go ahead and just adjust it from here. But initial adjustments, you know, if no one's ever worked on the, on the brakes before or haven't for a long time or they've been bu buggered up, get them into, into position, get them all right, and the last thing you do is adjust the handbrake up underneath the handbrake lever. Let's take a look at an MGA rear brake, which is sort of the same thing. Here we have a si single cylinder, and this spring is not correct. Help me out, that spring is not correct. It should be more, more of a spring like this. But because the cylinder slides, then when the cylinder presses out this way and pushes the shoe this way, as soon as it contacts the drum, then the whole body is going to push backwards and this is going to hit the drum. So it's a self-centering type of arrangement. Here we take the adjuster and as we turn the cam, you can see the shoe climbs higher and higher and higher up off the cylinder until finally you can't turn the screw anymore because it's locked. Unless, of course, the shoes are so worn or the drum is so worn, you turn it all the way and then bam, it comes back down to zip. If it, if it rolls over like that, it means you need new shoes, thicker linings, or new drums. So anyway, on the MGA, you crank it out until it locks, and then back it off one, one click, and then the drum will run absolutely freely. So that's my explanation of rear brakes for today. Make sure you plan to attend the Car Carlisle Import Show May 21st in Carlisle, Pennsylvania. Go on carlisleproductions.com. After that, we'll be looking to see everybody at Reno. Thanks a lot.